Welcome back to Mastering MMA. I'm Coach Lee here with you. Today we're going to be talking about goals. So, recently, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know that uh, the gym that I trained at shut down due to financial issues because of the whole COVID-19 thing and um, the government not allowing us to operate. And I bought a bunch of the equipment from the gym and am planning on reopening it. So, that's kind of been what I've been been focused on and obsessed with lately is, is getting this up off the ground and, and things running. So, as you know, I was, uh, right after it went down, I made a little home gym and uh, it, was, it was very small. Um, but then once the gym actually closed down for good and I realized that, uh, you know, I was going to have to do something to, to keep the to keep it going um, I had to set new goals right because before when I made the whole gym it was just you know a place to shoot some videos and uh, do some private lessons things of that nature get my own workouts in but then uh, once it uh, once it changed to where I was going to be having more people over um you know, and, and running actual classes and such, and not just private lessons, well, I, I needed more room. So, it was three rooms on this, in this little storage building that we have, storage, yep, storage building, from the downstairs. So, we went through, knocked out walls, things like that, made it bigger, right? So, that, that was a small goal, right, is, is we went from the, from the little space to a bigger space. We're still not in a big space, but, uh, I think I'm going to be able to run about 10 people classes, so uh, we're going to we're going to work around it. Um, you know, I've set up some different things to make things work out well to be getting different people in and, and grow the gym. So then, I've had to set short-term goals and long-term goals with this, and I can't tell you how many people I've talked to, fighters, that have. You know their their goal coming in is, is they want to they want to fight in the UFC or they want to be a pro fighter or whatever, but they don't have short term goals, right? So so that long term goal is great. That's a a very hard uh, hard goal to hit. Very very few people do it, um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, you want to set your long-term long -term goals high. Um, you know, you, you want it to be something that, that's hard to get. If it was if it was easy, it wouldn't be a long-term goal. But as you set these, these long-term goals, and some of them are further out than others, right? So, you know, fighting in the UFC is a lot further away than, than being a pro fighter, which is a lot further away than, than having a amateur fight, right? So you, you, if you set these little goals, that helps, right? Let's it keeps, you, keeps you more motivated, right? Because you've always got something to strive for. It's not, uh, you're not trying to climb this mountain. You're just trying to get this next little ledge. So I'm a firm believer on setting both long-term and short-term goals. Um, set goals that, that seem unreachable, you know, but set set ones below that too that, that you really you really think you can reach. But push, right? If you see an opportunity to push a little bit further towards that goal that you thought was unreachable, go for it, right? Um, it's kind of like fighters that uh, that are afraid to go for a submission because they're afraid that uh, they're going to get out of position or they're afraid something's going to go wrong or you know when there's a big opening to uh, to land a big shot and go for the knockout, they're afraid to pull the trigger because they're they're afraid they're gonna get countered. Um, sometimes you have to you have to take risks. Um, but you make them calculated risks, right? We're not going out and doing stupid stuff. But uh, you kind of weigh your risk reward. And as a fighter you should be doing that all the time. That should be a constant um, in your training and everything else. And with that being said Another thing I tell my fighters, which is, is some good advice I'll give you all, is, uh, is lay it all out in the gym, right? When you're practicing, like, 
take risks. Take lots and lots of risks. Get uncomfortable, right? The more you put yourself, or the more you go for stuff and risk getting in bad positions in the gym, the more you're going to get in bad positions, the more you get used to those bad positions, the more you're comfortable there, the less you worry about it in a fight of, well, what if I go for this and then, um, you know, I ended up losing position or, you know, whatever, whatever your fear is at that, that moment that's going to change. Um, but if you've been in that, that position you're afraid to go to, you know, thousands of times in the gym, you're way less fearful of it, so you, you can go for it. But, um, a little off topic there. Um, so anyways, with the goals, right, as a fighter, you should have the long-term goals and the short-term goals. If your long-term goal is to be the UFC champion, your short-term goal should be to master the jab. Or, you know, say say you're hitting guillotines, right? That, that's kind of your thing. Your short-term goal should be, one, you know, very short-term, is, is how can I make my guillotine tighter, right? How can I make it sub more people when I get there, right? That should be your your, your short-term goal with that. Um, and then a step above that is, is how can I find way more ways to get to that goal, right? Or to get to that guillotine. So first, we're, our very small goal is, is I'm subbing people with guillotines. That's kind of seems to be my go-to. So my very short, short-term goal is, is what minor details can I change? Maybe it's my grip. Maybe it's my body position. Um, you know, whatever it is to make my guillotine tighter, right? So it, it subs quicker. It's, you know, it's harder to get out of, whatever the case may be. Then your next little goal should probably be how can I find three more ways to get the guillotine that I'm not currently doing, right? And then you hit that. And your next goal might be, um, let's say, uh, you know, let's find two new positions that I can hit the guillotine in, um, or two new setups, or something of that nature, right? So then it builds on that other goal. Very similar, right? Um, but before you might have been looking at, at you know, um, different types of guillotine grips, right? Whether it's, you know, high elbow or it's your stand, you know, that type of stuff. But then you might look into different ways to get to those different grips. And then your next step might be, well, I've kind of mastered this. Let's, uh, let's add a sweep off of this, right? So that, you know, you're starting to expand off what you're really good at. Or you might just jump in a completely different direction and be like, okay, I'm killing people on the ground. Let's let's clean up our stand up some. Let's close that that gap. There's a little hole there that, that needs to be closed up, right? So then that's that's your next goal. Well, all this time your uh, your your next somewhat long term goal, and I'm, I'm I'm talking as if you're you're pretty new at this. Your your next somewhat long term goal might be um, to get your first amateur fight, but you might hit 50 goals on the way to that that first kind of mile marker type of goal, right? So then it's then it's your first amateur fight. Well, let's say you, you lost. Then then your goal might be, well, now I want to get my first amateur win. So then we've got another, we might hit another 30 little goals before we, we get that win. And then after that, it might go to your next goal is is, is the, is an amateur title, right? So then, then you're working your butt off and, and you've got little goals to get there, right? So it might be, you know, your goal might be to work on your stand-up more. Let's let's add some kicks in. I was just kind of boxing. Now we're going to kick more. Um, or let's let's really work on these takedowns so I can get to that guillotine that I'm really good at, right? So then you got these little short-term goals, and those goals can also be, well, this this amateur fighter, he's fought for a title. He's, he holds a title in another uh, another uh, promotion. Right, so you might want to fight him because he already holds a title, but you might not get the title shot with him. But he might be a guy that that if I beat this, like they're, they're probably going to give me the next title shot, you know, because he owns a he, he holds a title in another promotion or in another weight class or something of that nature. Right, so you might have these little short term goals, and you know each fight on the way to that title is is a is a short term goal or or a medium term goal depending on how you're looking at it, how you're breaking it down. So you've got to have all these little ones that lead up. 
Right, and then once you get that title, well, well the next step is, is maybe another one, or maybe it's the next step is let's go ahead and jump pro because I'm destroying people. Right, so then you're pro. So you got to set these little goals and, and long term goals, right? And that's what I'm doing right now, as as I'm trying to become the business owner for the gym. Um, but it, it works out in all, in all aspects of life, and especially like if you're fighting, you have to have goals, right? If you just go in there every day and bang, and you know you just go in for the sparring or the rolling or whatever it is, you know all the fun stuff, and you don't have goals set. You're really not going to improve that fast. We are going to get better, but uh, you know, when even when you're sparring, there should be goals there. Um, maybe you're working on a new a new strike or some new footwork or something like that. Should be a goal that you're putting into your sparring. Um, you know, or or it's a new submission, or you've been working out and getting out of this bad position. Put yourself in a bad position, right, and then work back out of it. Um, Set yourself goals when you go in and train. Sometimes go and have fun, right? Just go in there and spar or go in there and grapple or whatever you're doing that day. Um, but a lot of times you, you need to set goals and try to better yourself, right? Um, don't just go in and do the same thing over and over again. And especially in the gym, get out of your comfort zone with your goals. If your goal is to be a really good fighter, you need to spend a lot of time in bad spots. Um, because that's that's the difference in in a lot of good fighters and and bad fighters is you know a bad fighter you get in a bad spot like there you are you're stuck it's over um, where a good fighter they get in a bad spot they've got an idea of how to get out of there right um, and it doesn't always work out that way but more times than not it's going to work out that way so set yourself goals both short and long term and make your short term goals lead up to that long term goal. So that's what we got going on today. If you haven't yet, please like, hit like for this video. Um, share on social media. Subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. New videos coming out all the time. Um, putting out a lot of content right now. And please Google Mastering MMA when my page pops up. Leave me a five-star review. Tell me the, your favorite thing about this channel. That would help me out a lot. And join the uh, Mastering MMA Facebook page. Lots of cool stuff there. Jokes, everything. Anything to do with... MMA and combat sports in general is uh, there's stuff for all of it in there. So go check that out too. So that's all I got for you today. We'll catch you next time on Mastering MMA with Coach Lee.